The once powerful leader of a polygamous cult is believed to be having a mental breakdown behind bars. That's according to a recent court filing. Warren Jeffs is serving a life sentence for sexually assaulting girls that he considered to be his brides. Joe Dana has the latest on the cult leader behind bars and how and if He's still controlling people on the outside, Joe. Mark, as you know, we've covered this story for years, and during his 13 years in federal custody, Warren Jeffs has tried to kill himself. He's gone on a hunger strike and had to be force-fed and was placed in a medical coma. Well, he's now being labeled mentally incompetent by his own attorney. Despite all of that, people familiar with the FLDS say they believe Jeffs may still communicate with thousands of people. What he's left behind is a lot of trauma. Here in this shelter in West Phoenix, the destructive legacy of Warren Jeffs can still be felt. And Director of Programs Constance right. Meredith have, uh, says there are a handful of women who escaped Jeffs' cult getting services here. Many more have sought help on the Arizona border at the Dream Center's Short Creek location. We've had some people in our programs that um, have had family that still follows him, uh, and still have, they still have his picture up. They've moved away from it, and they're just waiting for their family to move away from it. How many are still following the 63-year-old cult leader's directions is difficult to tell. It's crumbling, and uh, a lot of the people are starting to mainstream. Roger Houle is a civil attorney who represents former members of the FLDS Church. He says loyalists of Jeff's have scattered to several states, including South Dakota and Texas. Apparently, he has expressed that he is now married to some of his daughters who are basically the ones communicating with him. Those daughters may be relaying his messages to other followers. Before his arrest in 2006, and even in the years after, Jeffs ordered that families break up, assigning wives to different men, and even assigning children to different parents. I estimate about 2,500 children are with neither of their parents. They're just being raised as... Um, children of the cult. Even from behind bars, Jeffs still divides those who want to be loyal and those who want out. Even those that purport to be following him uh, may be doing so just until they can figure out how to strategically get out without losing their remaining family members. A judge has set a court date on August 27th in southern Utah to decide if Jeffs can be ordered to give testimony in the latest child abuse case against him. His attorneys say right now his testimony would be pointless because of his mental state. Back to you guys. All right, Joe, thank you.